Now we want to show you guys a quick gameplay demo. We'll have Itos on play, and he'll try to commentate, but I'll probably do most of the talking. So, really quick then, we just want to explain some of the basics here. First off, you see right off the bat we have the setting screen where it asks you if you want to turn on auto assist. Auto assist is this mode that you can use if you're a newcomer to the series or just if you want to kind of help teach yourself how the combos work. You can turn this on and then the game will automatically do combos for you uh, just by mashing the melee button. So, He's going to go ahead and keep it off for now, but we'll turn it on later in the game so you guys can see what that's all about. And since we're playing on a PS4 Pro, it's in 4K, you can play it in HDR. For some reason we were having trouble with the, the TV, so right now it's not showing in HDR, but 4K HDR at 60 frames per second on the PS4 Pro. Yeah, man. And you can see on the loading screen here we have the control layout, but at any time during the game you can also press the pause button. And by doing that you'll also see the controls up here on the top right as well. So whenever you want to take a look at them. He's, I think he just wanted to show that <laughs> if you go in the wrong direction, Nico will yell at you. You know, the demo came out, we've had the demo, we had a demo come out in, on Xbox back in December, and then now a multi-platform demo came out here in February 7th, and we see a lot of people asking about the controls, I mean, you see, see how the controls work, you see that square is to shoot your, any of your guns there, for Nero he just says the blue rose, you're going to hold in the button to do a sharp shot, triangle is melee attack, And then, circle is your devil breaker attack. And then, if you press X, you'll jump. A lot of people ask, well, what's the evade button? A lot of people don't know how to evade. Well, the devil may cry. There's a couple of ways you can evade, but just by jumping, there's automatically, when you jump, the moment that you jump, uh, invincibility frames up. So, this is something that I didn't know actually until later in the series either, amazingly. But this is like one of the basic spin around and stuff may cry one. If you're having trouble with enemies, if you're getting attacked, just know that you can jump. And that's all you gotta do to evade attacks. And that's really, if you're if you're kind of intimidated by trying to do anything more complex than that, that's really all you need to know in terms of evading. But Isuno san is also going to show us other ways you can evade as well. Once you've kind of gotten enough confidence in how you're playing the game. <laughs> You'll notice, especially compared to Devil May Cry 4, the older games, we've changed the camera, so now the camera follows the player. It's not fixed anymore. It's not on rails anymore. And if you hold an R1, as you see here, you lock on to an enemy. 
the, the camera will do its best to make sure that both you and that enemy stay at, in a pretty good spot on the screen. So it's not, it's hopefully not too confusing for you as you're fighting against enemy. And you also notice that that lockout marker, that represents the enemy's health gauge. You can see it going down as they shoot. Now, this other evade that I was talking about, if you're locked on and you hold left or right and press the X button, you'll do a roll like that. So that's the other evade that you can do, the kind of other standing evade. Again, if that's too much for you, you can always just jump like this. It doesn't matter. You don't have to worry about whether you're locked on or whatever. You can jump, and that always has invincibility frames on the first couple frames. <coughs> and then once you get better at it, and you're more confident, you'll be able to do that roll like this. And that's going to help put you in pretty good positioning as you're fighting against enemies. One of the other cool things about Nero is when you're locked on and you hit the circle button, that's when he does this wire snatch thing. He pulls the enemy So that becomes great for when you want to control the positioning of the fight. You can pull the enemy towards you, away from the other enemies, for instance, so that you're not you don't have to worry about getting hit while you're attacking that enemy. Or another really cool thing to do is you could knock them away like you just did, and then pull them right back in and keep comboing the same enemy. Now, he's got a lot of different moves he can do, especially with that melee button with the range button. So, if you don't know how to do those moves, that's okay. That's why we have this auto assist. You can hold in the right stick, and that turns on the auto assist like that. Oh. Now, just by having the auto assist on and then hitting the triangle button, they'll automatically do moves that will help raise your style. Rate. So you don't have to worry about learning the move. We'll show you that a little more uh, during the boss fight. It'll probably be, it'll probably be easier to show at that point. Okay. As I was saying earlier, the real evolution in Nero's gameplay are these double breakers. And you can see he's got four different double breakers that he, that he can equip right now in his loadout. And there are two different ways that he can lose these. The first is getting hit while using a double breaker attack. Then it'll break. The other thing is, as he just did by holding in the circle button, you see, you kind of charged it up. Mm -hmm. By charging up a double breaker and then releasing the button, they'll do what's called a breakage move. And when he does a breakage move, it'll do a super powerful, it's like a super combo in Street Fighter almost. Super powerful move, but because that move is so powerful, it breaks the double breaker. So then you'll use that and then move on to the next one. <laughs> デビルブレーカーに切り替える方法っていうのは自由に選ぶ方法はありません
And we've seen a lot of feedback from the demo where people have said, okay, well, I want to change the Devil Breaker that I'm using at a certain point in time. How do I do that? Well, the idea behind Nero is that his gameplay is different from Dante. His gameplay isn't about changing the weapon at any given point in time. His, his gameplay is really about how he can best utilize what he's got right now. So for him, we wanted to try what we could to differentiate that gameplay with the Devil Breakers. And so you can't change between them on the fly. And what you want to do then is instead you want to strategize beforehand. Okay, I'm going to go into a new stage. I haven't been in this stage before. What Devil Breaker do I want to have at the beginning of the stage? What And what Devil Breakers do I want to have after that to hopefully work the most effectively throughout the level? Okay. どうやって変えるかっていうとね自分でも切り替える方法が一つだけあってそれはこのブレイクアウェイという技ですこれは自分の力であの切り離して自爆させるで爆発させるっていう技ですね And there is one way that you can switch from your current double breaker to the next double breaker in addition to losing it and that's breaking yourself はい次のパーキャーに変わりましたそれが、ヒズブロゲットにスイッチオーバーとネットワーク、パチュラン。で、デイルブレーカーはこうやってあの道に落ちてることがあるんですね。これはあの2個が事前に置いてるんですけど、まあ、設定上は2個が事前に置いてるんですこうやって道に落ちてるときます。これを近づいてきて、拾うとこうやって拾ったやつが一番最初につくことになります。So that's how you'll play with Nero then. Throughout the, throughout the level, you'll find these double breakers on the floor, for instance. And then you'll be able to go and pick them up. The kind of story behind that is that we've had Nico has sent out these drones to actually place them throughout the level for Nero. このドイルブレイクはさっきのこのバーンって雷の手が大きい手が出る技と違ってこっちは So you see, earlier he had a double breaker called Overture where he did this palm attack and then a giant electric palm shot out, right? Now he's got one called Punchline, and as you can see, that's more of this rocket, <coughs> rocket arm that he shoots out. And not only can you shoot out that rocket, but you can also ride it. Kind of like a skateboard, so. Just to show you that real quick. There you go. And this is a pretty stylish attack. If you use this when you're fighting a group of enemies, you can hit them with all these different tricks that he's doing. Alright, let's move ahead. あデビルメイクライっていうのはいかにスタイリッシュに戦うかっていうのをで自分に酔うゲームなんですねここに A から順番に ADCBASSS まで行くんですけどいろんな技をなるべく同じのを使わないように戦うっていうのがスタイリッシュを上げていくコツになります。That the way you want to play Devil May Cry is you want to try to play stylishly. And the way you play stylishly is by doing different moves throughout the combo, not using the same moves over and over. As you do these different moves, you see the style rank go up. You went from D to C to B. Hopefully, he'll go all the way up to A, S, and then maybe all the way up to Triple S. He's picked up a new Devil Breaker here, Gerbera. This one's got a really powerful breakage move. As you can see here, you do that in the air, and it, every time one of these lasers bounces off the wall, it gets stronger. So, in a small room like this, that is perfect for taking out a big group of enemies at once. And it also raises your style rank super quick, as you can see. Maybe you noticed that he picked up that, that Devil Breaker, Gerbera, used that move in the air because that was a, one of the, the more powerful breakage moves. 
でもね、こうやってちゃんと落ちてるんで、次のやつが。もったいぶらずに2つ落ちてるんで、次のやつが。もったいぶらずに2つ落ちてるんで、次のやつが。When, when we designed the game, our intent was really that people would want to use the Devil Breakers, use them up, and because there's more on the ground, okay, keep trying to use more and experiment with them.、Uh, and really understand how powerful they are.、Uh, we have seen a lot of people play, though, that they don't use them very much. They're very conservative with them. I know I was at first, too. Actually, throughout development, I was for a long time.、Uh, until I really learned that, okay, well, basically, there's so many throughout the game that、yeah. it makes perfect sense, you know, to go ahead and. Pick them up, use them. The more you use them, the stronger you'll be, the higher your style rank is going to go up. So you picked up the Buster arm here. This represents the same functionality that he had in Devil May Cry 4 with his, buster, with his arm, the Buster attacks. His fancy throw moves. That's what I'm going to say. This is probably going to be one of the stronger Devil Breakers, especially near the beginning of the game. You don't necessarily get the Buster Arm right at the beginning of the game, though.、Uh, if you pre purchase the Xbox version on Xbox Live, on, the, on the, the digital version, as a bonus, you get the Buster Arm. As something you can play with near the beginning of the game. Another thing is, we've tried to stretch the levels so that they're fun to play and they're not too confusing. But if you're ever confused, you can hold in the left stick and it'll show you where you need to go next. For this particular option, you'll notice actually. Okay, he needs, he needs to go that way. So, he's picked up his key item here, the Nidhogg, actually, and he's going to use that. And that's definitely something where there's absolutely no penalty in using that. So,、uh, feel free to use that whenever you need to. If you feel like, ah,、oh, I've got him stuck, never be afraid to hold in that left stick. Nothing bad happens. It's pretty sweet. Now, if you play the demo that's out, that came out on February 7th, you'll know that when you go up to the telephone booth, there'll be certain phones throughout the game where you'll pick them up and call Nico in, and she'll come in, she'll come rushing in with the Devil May Cry motorhome, where then you can then visit that motorhome and talk to Nico and get. Upgrades and new skills. Now, this is one of those examples that we were talking about where, okay, here's the gameplay is about thinking about, all right, what's going to happen next? He's going to go into a boss fight next. So, since he's going to go into a boss fight, he's thinking about what Devil Breakers do I want to have in what succession to, to fight against this guy? I must have given up. 
Son, I was going to focus on playing, <laughs> so he's not going to be too talkative. I think I'll do most of the talking here. All right, here we go. So this is really the first big boss fight in the game. We've had this in a couple. Sorry, I died. You know, it's it's a double cry boss, right? So I mean, you know, it's the idea behind these bosses is very much that we want people to play against them. Maybe they die, but they figure out, okay, this is what I got to do next. So they feel really accomplished when they do beat it, you know? You can see, with the Wire Snatch, because it's this big enemy, using the Wire Snatch doesn't pull the enemy towards Nero, instead Nero travels towards him. And you also notice that his sword is kind of lighting on fire as he's doing that. What that is, that's called, that's called EX Act. And what that is, is he's got an engine on his sword, and he can rev that engine. And if he times the button press just right to rev that engine as he does an attack, It'll power up the sword for the next attack. All right, he's in, a, he's in a small room again, so it makes sense to do that same attack on the floor. Here he goes. Gerbera's air breakage move. Another fun fact with this one. If you lock onto an enemy when you use that breakage move, all the, all of the lasers will bounce towards that one enemy. If you don't have a lock on, then it'll just bounce all over the place. We've already gotten down close to half health here. He's got oh, two overtures and a punchline in his inventory here. Overtures break age is this time bomb that he's going to be able to implant. Let's see if he can pull it off. Man, you can really tell that jumping is a very big part of evading in Devil May Cry. Those air jumps also have uh, invincibility frames on them as well. He's got a cluster arm. If he's able to stun the Goliath, daze him a little bit, he can use that buster arm on him for massive damage. Let's we'll see if he's going to pull it off. There we go. There we go. All right. Now's his chance. He's going to throw him. He's going to throw him. You can actually, wherever you turn the camera, that's where Nero throws him. Because you use the break aids throw, it's taking away a crap ton of life. Look at that. And he beat the boss. Just like that. <laughs> Usually it's a little harder. Right? Yeah, so, 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 so. What if we can Neither of us expected him to actually die there. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, A rank, not too shabby. Not too shabby. The highest rank is S, past that. And you see, he used auto assist, so there was, uh, you see, it's the number of points that he gets at the end of the stage, his bonus is uh, multiplied by 0.8. But otherwise, there's all these different bonuses that you get for doing different stuff in the level. So, let's see here. Any, any easy ones to explain? I guess, get wet. Literally, he just jumped in the fountain, and that was enough to, <laughs> that was enough to give him a bonus. They have all kinds of little bonuses like that, stuff that the dev team thought would be fun to put in. Come on, go to Hi. Cool. So, that's the demo. So, we go back to the presentation. <laughs>